talk about somebody who you might have heard before. His name is Ajito and he has almost 500 subscribers at the time of recording. And this dude unnecessarily gave Ludwig, who has a second channel called Mogo Mayo, which currently has 1.61 million subscribers at this time of recording, a lot of shit for not covering the situation fast enough like he did with the Dr. Disrespect situation, which he literally waited two days for. He literally tweeted, Hey, Ludwig and Grin. Are you planning on covering the detentive predatory behavior that Chris Tyson has engaged in? He made videos talking about Dr. Disrespect immediately after information came out. Ludwig responds to Achito saying that his video literally came out two days after Charlie's not immediately after information came out. He waited for Doc's statement on Twitter and on stream and his removal from Midnight Society. He's literally in Paris with his family, so why oh motherfuckers so horny for a statement? Like seriously, why are you obsessed with video out? Okay, that's a question I have for a Cheeto because he thinks that it's okay to do this. Who asked? The Cheeto dude who tweeted at me and retweeted his own tweet. Okay, why are you all still retweeting your own tweets in the year of our Lord 2024? Are you that desperate, you bonehead? You were awfully quick to post two videos on the topic, just making sure creators keep the same energy across the board on predatory behavior. I don't know if that's being horny for a statement. I know you and Mr. Beast are buddy buddies, so perhaps it would be inconvenient to post something that could negatively impact his brand. Appreciate the response. He literally posted the two screenshots, you pee-wee-brained dumb fuck. I wasn't quick. I was days later than most people, which I just proved. I waited for enough information from both sides to make an informed video. Do you think that is a bad thing to do? No, it is not a bad thing. The internet is impatient, unfortunately. Seriously, why do Twitter users have to be so impatient these days? That's what annoys me the most. People would rather you post something as quickly as possible if all the facts aren't available than to wait for everything to come out and then make a video. Exactly. Do you know how long it took me to make a video about Dr. Disney's threat last month? One week and two days. That's how long it took me because it just came out. Dr. Disrespect made a response, and I had to read all of the tweets from the beginning before I even had to start making a video right away. Blood, you're engaging with bad faith actors. They don't care about information. They care about in advancing a narrative and drama. There will be no winning regardless of which facts you are able to present of or information that comes out. Yeah, actually, that's not a good thing to do. Sally, sorry, Ludwig, but people need to hear the most dramatic side of the story first so that they can ignore the other side. Yep, that pretty much sums it up. Leave the guy alone. He said that he's waiting for more statements slash evidence and he's not home. In time with family. Yes, exactly. What is wrong with it? Why is it wrong to stay in Paris with your family on vacation and not make a video right away? But, but he took useless journalism college classes about the bills of journalism. He's just a coward. That is a Mr. Beast Yes Man. How is he a Mr. Beast Yes Man if he doesn't want to talk about something without waiting for all the facts to come out? Because this is one of the major rules of commentary, which is that you have to wait until every single information comes out and it has to come out from both sides. It's important for people with different posing views to have a say. So you, the online commentator, can have an agreement 
or a disagreement with someone's take. That's pretty much how it works in the commentary community. He's just said he's in Paris with family. Chill, man. It's really unfortunate that we come to this. We gotta stop being so parasocial and caring about streamer opinions, man. You're not in third grade. Unfortunately, being parasocial is not gonna go away at all. Because as long as some people have a parasocial relationship with Dream or Carl Jacobs, for example, then you, you are most likely not going to care about your own needs, but you're going to care way, way too much about someone else's needs. And I truly think obsessing over Ludwig proves that, especially when he doesn't make a statement. If he makes a bid on the situation, will you retract that statement? A coward wouldn't make a critical piece on one of Mr. B's friends, so if he does, that would read Deenum in your eyes, right? The tweet is still up as of two days later at the time of this recording, so who knows? Somebody wants attention. Shubies is a 54 like Andy, so I wouldn't be surprised. Of course, I would always say to wait for adequate information before discussing a story. However, the lack of response from Tyson does not mean the information regarding their behavior isn't public. Dude, he wanted to wait until every site comes out. I don't see how much of that is a problem with you. Wait, so you are both calling for him to give a response and saying he should always wait for adequate information before going forward, so which is it? Give uninformed opinion quickly or wait and give informed opinion with the response. It's so crazy that everyone has to do a quick response because of consistency. Mate, the amount of obscene and heinous things are out about Ava if it was a creator that these bread tubers didn't like, all of them would have been on Twitter going on about it. Like what happened with Dr. Disrespect, research a bit about this and you'll agree with me. I'm not defending anything from Ava or what she did or anything of that nature. I am saying that this guy is coming at all these people that he doesn't like saying where are the responses, but then saying he is right to wait for more information. He is trying to piggyback what Ava did onto other people he doesn't like and say they are being silent because they like Mr. Beast and that they should also somehow be held accountable. As you said, there is a plethora of terrible shit on the internet. Should every streamer from now on until the end of time comment on every horrible thing that happens? Whether they are a commentary YouTuber or not, it's okay for people to not comment on every single thing on the internet or to not comment within 24 hours of finding out about. And that's exactly what you're forgetting, Cheeto. You cannot just expect a commentary YouTuber or anyone who isn't a commentary YouTuber to comment on everything within 24 hours within that time frame. What I find more confusing is there's more pressure for these YouTubers to comment on the situation than the actual cues. Maybe change your perspective a bit, people? Yeah. Because what's the point of calling out the person who's actually in trouble if you're going to call out the people who weren't in trouble, who are just minding their own business and and they were not the ones that have a pretty serious controversy on their hands. And the only person you should blame is Ava Chris Tyson. You shouldn't blame Ludwig for not speaking out against this. Of course, I would always say to wait for adequate information before discussing a story. Sweet, you agree with him then. He's in Paris, you already know this. Once he gets back and the situation is actually developed, he'll cover it. Let a dude have his vacation. Lord forgive someone not immediately flying back to the US whenever any drama happens. People are asking me why I care so much about the Chris Tyson situation. This person has had one of the largest AstroTurf careers in all of YouTube history. They have been invited to the Nickelodeon Kids Choice Awards, etc. 
not only do I find their actions to be outright disgusting, but I also find it disgusting that creators are desensitized to speak out about predatory behavior that they would otherwise condemn it because it would potentially burn the Mr. Beast bridge. I also think that creators are choosing to neglect this because they don't want the bad optics of calling out one of the largest trans influencers. Ultimately, this is not about brand deals or Mr. Beast or anti-trans rhetoric. It is about maintaining consistency in unequivocally disavowing and condemning predatory behavior. Look, we all know that predatory behavior is bad. No one is even denying it. But, however, just because creators and their supporters are going to condemn predatory behavior online, that doesn't mean that they have to do it quickly. If a creator that you watch hasn't seen all of the allegations against Ava criticizing it, then it's best for them to wait until other people that know Chris Tyson comes forward with some details that they have that they know. And you also need to wait for the person who's being accused to speak up to address the allegations. Because that is in fact how it works in my view. Why did you not reply to my question to you? Is it because you thought it would negatively impact your brand? Blood wingers taking things well. Okay, regardless of Elon Musk's stupid rule enforcement, can you not replace the word that originally starts with an N by adding W by bypassing to say a word for edgy points? There is literally zero evidence that is one of my viewers. Obviously that guy's a fucking loser. And if you really wanted to know how my viewers felt about the situation, you don't have to go far. Yeah, get a DM of me glazing you prior to your atrocious fall off. You're so busy surgically attaching your tongue to the bottom of Hassan's foot, I'm surprised you even had time to respond. Maybe if he had asked you to make a video and Tyson, you would. Also, what was your question? I didn't even see it. Honestly, I'm so curious to see your definition of what a fall off is. Or was that just meant to be a petty grade level insult with no basis? Love him or hate him? Ludwig's numbers are ridiculously consistent compared to most people his size. His definition of a fall off is probably gonna be something like this. And I won't be surprised if that's the case. And this is the question. I think you are in such a low tweeting whirlwind that you are missing crucial details for your argument. Ironically, a microscopism of what you are mad at Ludwig for not doing. The numbers can get overwhelming, but it's important to think before you reply. Bro, if he had an atrocious fall off and you don't watch him anymore, why do you care so much that he hasn't made a statement yet? A Cheeto thinks that the uh, world revolves around him. That's probably why he cares so much. It's about consistency. If they're going to hop on Dr. Disrespect instantly and immediately condemn him, then they should when the evidence against Chris is worse. Keyword, when. Because if the witnesses of Chris Tyson hasn't come forward yet, then you cannot just simply make a video without the other side to come forward. That's why Ludwig was waiting for the other side to come forward so that he can then make the video. And again, with the consistency, you cannot just upload a YouTube video immediately after you make it within not even one day. And if Ludwig wants to make a video on it in two days, he can. But that doesn't mean that he's obligated to do that. And if a Cheeto wants to be demanding and force Ludwig to make a video and upload it to YouTube immediately instead of doing it on his own terms, on his own time, 
which is in fact what Ludwig would have wanted, then a Cheeto is just an impatient person who doesn't give a fuck and wants everything to go his way. And that right there is that is what I would call a very selfish person. And a selfish person only thinks about themselves. They don't ever think about your needs or my needs. They only think about their own needs. That's what a terminally online person does. And a Cheeto, in my opinion, is acting like one right now. May I ask what Wolof? Exactly. A lot of his videos have over a million views each. So why are you saying that Ludwig fall off when he is in fact doing more numbers than you are? Speaking of numbers, Geo just happened to tweet this out, showing a difference between Achito's videos and Ludwig's videos on the definition of falling off. One is a screenshot from his channel when he where he makes 23k views and 49k views which is not consistent. As for Ludwig, he consistently gets a million views per video. So if you want to be that type of guy and preach the consistency on Twitter, then you have to at least make a million views per video. Or in Achito's case, he needs to make 49k views per video. That is what should be consistent. If you're going to talk about consistency, you have to do that. You assume everyone is terminally online. Give people some time, at least. It's been, what, two days and you expect everyone to have a video out about it? People have lives. We know what Ava did. It's out. Let people research and take time. Exactly. You can't just rush out a video in a flick of a flash like that. Whenever it takes five days, seven days to make a video, you have to take your time. Besides, only those who are terminally online are able to post a video a day. And I truly wish I can be like that, but it only takes me like three to five days to edit a video and then upload it to YouTube. Some people put too much energy into the wrong shit. The internet is a space where the wrong thing said cannot only end your career but worse. All these empowered keyboard warriors need to chill. Not everyone has to speak on everything. Exactly. You don't need to put your energy on Ludwig for not speaking out. Not every commentary YouTuber has to speak up on it. And not every Twitch streamer or YouTuber has to speak up on it. And yes, especially if they're friends with that creator. They have a right to not speak up on it if they don't feel comfortable doing so. Why do people care more about who speaks on a situation than the situation itself? It's weird. Whether Ludwig, Pokivane, or any of them make a tweet, I promise you it won't change the course of anything. Nobody but complete NPCs read it and suddenly say, they're right, I changed my stance. It's also weird to think because someone has a life and isn't locked in to what's being posted online 24-7, they apparently support the bad shit that's happening. Why is that the default? That doesn't even make sense. Anyone arguing for consistency should focus on consistency in their own life a lot of you spend way too much time saying whatever gets a few extra views and likes from the other weirdos stuck in the same parasocial world. It's a pathetic. Well, other than from the overuse of the abbreviated word, non-playing characters, yes. You should focus on consistency in your own life, not what other people do or don't do on the internet. The eternal focus should be on Chris Tyson for what she did in the past, not on Ludwig, who, in fact, doesn't need to be involved in everything within a minute or an hour to talk about certain things on the internet. And by the way, by the time of Thursday's screenshot, he made a video on the situation. The comments on this video are most, are most likely saying that Ludwig shouldn't be harassed 
for not covering it. And for possibly not jumping into conclusions. And all the heat should just be going to Ava Christice. No one else. People want the same speed and energy that went towards covering the same the story. Same as such a disrespect. All about consistency. But again, not everybody is obligated to cover the story. It's not that serious. And that's like crying over spilled milk. I can't understand that to an extent, but I think the shit they've been getting for isn't justified. Going to at the guy publicly over some serious allegations is not how a country YouTuber should be doing things, in my opinion. Ludwig is not a journalist. He is not obligated to break news as soon as possible. He does at his own leisure, like the man was enjoying his time with his family in Paris and you want him to drop it. Talk about a PDF file? He dropped a vacation before to defend Pokemon's cookies. Yeah, cookies, a subject, so simply he didn't have to double check statement for grooming victims and silly enough, he didn't have to wait for his family to be asleep in order to talk about it. True, and if Ludwig would have just enjoyed his own vacation as is without being berated for not covering it, it would have been fine. Are people really going crazy about a couple of days? I don't think he needs to post in a timely manner. He's on vacation and it's his channel. Why do people think creators all them videos? By the way, this is just about the time of release on his video. I haven't finished the whole thing yet. Exactly. You don't have to post in a timely manner if you're just trying to get the video done right. Genuinely, how hard is it to let people do what they want to do without being forced to? Because all of the unnecessary drama about covering a serious situation about Ava and Chris Tyson shouldn't be that big of a deal. But if you want to make a big deal about it, yeah, sure, make a video about it for 38 minutes covering a nothing burger. Because that's what people want more on the internet. More pointless dramas between Ludwig and his Cheeto. So great job. Do you want a star for that? Like, give me a fucking break. This is such a waste of time for everyone involved. I know why a Cheeto is trying to blow this up over his snide comment when he was hounding Ludwig to make a bid. Let the dude live his life. I don't even like Ludwig, but the way people are demanding he talk about this and ra rationalizing to themselves how he could make a tweet or video to address this screams terminally online brain rot. To be honest, this view video feels like he got butthurt and just wanted to vent in his video. When you are making a video about your own vlog and talking about your friend's situation, it's not the same as for an allegation that can ruin a person's life. Information for allegation takes time before it can be used. With vlog and friends, you have more information to work with and can give a better video. A serious allegation takes time to work with how much information he has. He is not jumping the gun and writing the hatred, but using the information that he has to make a reasonable take. And if this last comment that I'm gonna read to you doesn't convince a Cheeto that he was being so silly for demanding anyone to cover anything for any reason, then I don't know what will. Cheeto, love you, hate Ludwig, but you have no right to tell anyone to cover anything for any reason. I want you to think for two seconds how you would react if you were the family and you didn't feel like making a video and someone who has a large fan base, let's say for example Ludwig, uses strong direct and demanding language on Twitter, practically making you look awful for wanting to be around their family. Ludwig therefore has every right to be upset with you and call you out for being so unnecessarily demanding. 
You don't have to air shit out like this publicly. DMs are a thing, you pega. Please think about this. Love your videos. Stay safe, brother. See, even one of Ichito's viewers thinks that Ichito went the wrong way about this and that he should have handled it differently and he shouldn't have to start this unnecessary beef in the first place. In conclusion, you can't just pressure the people to have some consistency in their coverage of things that they want to talk about. If they don't want to do it, that's fine by them. You don't have the right to tell them what they should do because you're the only one talking about it and no one else is. Just because there is a lack of response doesn't mean you need to grill people to start responding right away. So don't do that to Ludwig or any other content creator on this platform because you most certainly should have taken this to the DMs and not make a big deal about it.